back on Gran Canaria, this time 2019. Um, so those of you who bothered to do so, maybe my one viewer who bothers to look at any of these things, that's me, um, will know that sort of um, an awful lot went right on this race, except finishing. Um, and um, actually, yes, I'm still slightly bemused, befuddled by it all. Um, but basically, sort of uh, dehydrated, in, dehydration induced delirium, lack of sleep, blah blah blah, usual kind of stuff. Um, so, I'm actually at what I think is near enough the, the spot of my demise last year. And um, what's even more ridiculous is that I, I, I mean, I know it was close, but when you can see the. Um, I don't know if we're quite going to get it. When you can. No, it's not going to do it. Anyway, not to worry. So over there in the distance, you can see the sand dunes, and then the tops of the hotels, which are just next door to where we finished, which I think is just ridiculous, isn't it? Um, so, yeah. Um, so this is some kind of sort of epilogue from last year and a prologue to this year, I think. Um, no idea if that works. Um, answers on the postcard, please. Um, but it was, it was, I don't know why I was so fascinated with this bit because if you look at the, the GPS track is that I did go up and down this little bit a few times as though I was looking for something and um, I don't think it's because I need, wanted somewhere a little better to lie down because it is what it is <laughs> so quite um, I mean the only thing I can think of is that at that point I knew I needed to get a drink Exact measure. I've said it's about 8k, 5 miles, I think we might actually shorter. Um, just to make it even more ridiculous. Um, but we'll, we'll hopefully, all things being equal, we'll get, get to the end of it this time and uh, we'll, we'll try and remember to clock from here. Quite interesting at the moment actually, I'm not sure if it will necessarily come up that well on the camera, is that um, it's a bit blowy today, you might pick that up, and um, there's quite a lot of sand in the air, so um, it might be one of those kind of races, I hadn't realised that we're doing that, it feels warmer this year as well, which might be an issue, having spent the last month or so in, um, you know, various storms, storm force winds, good, I'm used to the wind now, um, admittedly colder wind, and admittedly with a lot more um, rain and hail in it. Um, don't think we've got any snow forecast as far as I'm aware. Um, haven't seen anything yet. Um, oh look, runners. Doing a runner thing. It's very keen, very keen. So I'm just doing my sort of <laughs> pseudo acclimatisation, a couple of hours walking kind of thing and that'll do it really. Um, but yeah, so, so yeah, it is a bit warmer. Um, uh, that just means I've got to take it even easier, which actually may not be a bad thing in the long run, but um, let's see. Um, but yeah, right, enough of me warbling, chorbling on. Um, we'll see you at the start.